Shiv, 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 Free to show their desperation, now the Russians have gone. No space for manners as they swarm the Ukrainian relief truck. Son, give me an aid pack, please. I have a walking stick, she says. Balaklia is recovering from months of trauma under Russian occupation, ended in a lightning strike by Ukrainian troops. Residents described how they felt when salvation arrived. This place was a war zone a week ago. Locals told us that Ukrainian forces started attacking Russian positions early on the 6th of September. The city was a key target in the first days of the counteroffensive, and it took three days until commanders said it was fully under Ukrainian control. It's a victory the government is keen to show after days of restricting access to the front line. The deputy defence minister said Ukraine will recapture the whole of Kharkiv region. Це дійсно поворотна точка війни, тому що вона показує вмотивованість і силу української армії. Попри те, що Росія на сьогодні переважає у кількості зброї. One of those weapons did this to a school in a nearby village. Russians had apparently used the place as a headquarters, but destroyed it after they fled. Evidence of the hasty retreat. Гаубиці ці танки стріляли. Ну, з огороду у нас танки збили, і стріляє. Це ужас. Уши лопаються, їх вистрілили. Не пережити, звісно. It's not hard to see why there's such fear. Investigators say up to 300 people were detained in these cells at the main police station during the occupation. Claims, too, of torture. This apparently one of the interrogation rooms. Now, like so much of the country, it's a crime scene. Deborah Haynes, Sky News, Baraklia.